Hello everyone, my name is Jose Garcia and in this video I'm going to show you all about the product interface, what are its uses, and why would you want to use the product interface overall. The product interface is a command that allows you to take parts from designers or machinists or what have you and what it lets you do is take that geometry and put it in another part. Now there's a benefit to this however, if you put it in another part, it'll associatively tie that part to the parent part. So let's say that you are a machinist and you are going to machine the part that the designer gives you. So the designer comes up to you and says, hey, this is the part that I want made, can you make it? Now as the machinist, you might want to put some holes in order to uh, you know, put your location pins and what have you, but you don't want to edit the original parts that the designer gave you. And in addition, if the designer changes their design, you want your model to also go with it. In the end, you want that whatever you do to the original part, you don't want that to go to the designer's part. It's a one-way street. So product interface gives you the part, you can do whatever you want with the part, but it will never go back to the parent. Whatever the designer does to the parent, however, will always go to you. So it's a one-way street. And let me show you an example here. So let's say I have this piece of geometry, and this is the pre-machine phase. Okay, so this is just to show the customer, like, hey, this is the general shape of it. And now what I want to do is I want to take this piece of geometry and bring it into another part. And that is where I'm going to put the holes, maybe a chamfer and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and do that for this piece of geometry. So in order to access the product interface, you have to come over here into the assemblies button. When you go there, you can go ahead and select product interface right here. Now once you do that, you can choose the object type here. In this case, I'm going to choose a solid body, but as you can see, you have a couple of other options here. So I'm going to say solid body, and I'm going to move my mouse over to the solid body and select it. Now if I right click on it, I can then say interface properties, and I can give this a name that I want. So I'm just going to call this pre-machined part. And if you want to put a description here, you most definitely can. Okay, so as you can see, I have a product interface here that says the pre-machine part, uh, and it is a body, and right now it is set to active. If it was referenced somewhere, you would see it here, say yes or no. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say okay. And if you notice, there's now a little folder over here that says product interface, and if you drop that down, it's called the pre-machine part. So let's put this in a real life scenario. This is actually something that I do all the time. So the designer has given me this part and now we're going to do some modifications to it, but we do not want to edit the designer's original part. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new part file. So I'm going to say new. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this into the desktop really quick. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and call this uh, part two. So now what I want to do is I want to take that part and bring it into this new part. And in order to do that, all I have to do is come over here into the Home tab. And if I expand the More, I can choose Wave Interface Linker. Now if you choose that, it will bring up a list of items that are loaded. In this case, I only have one item, and that's the parts that I originally started off with. So if I click the part here, you can see that the product interface that I created is located over here. It says pre-machine part. So I can go ahead and select that and I can say OK. And as you can see over here, it says linked body one pre-machine part. This body is linked to the main parent. So let's do a couple of things to this. Let's say we're going to put a hole here, right? So we're going to put one hole on the center of this arc over here like that and I'll put one more over here like that and this one's going to be maybe 50 millimeters so it's a little bit more 
than what the other one is and I'll put a chamfer on this guy so I'm gonna put one chamfer there that's two millimeters and I'll put another chamfer there and let's say we're gonna chamfer this whole outer edge and just for giggles we're also gonna chamfer the other bottom edge so I'm gonna go ahead and say okay so we have completely modified the original parent but what has happened is we took the body of the parent and we've modified it but it will not go back to the parent so now let's take a look at the designers original part so if we come over here into the product interface part that's the part I originally started off with you can see that nothing has happened to the original parent so over here if I go to the part number two you can see that it still is the same as the parent only thing that's different is we added all of these holes and the chamfer so what do you think is gonna happen if we change the parent well that's very easy to kind of tell right since this is a linked body we expect it to also move uh, the uh, part number two so let's take a look I'm gonna go ahead and go into the product interface here uh, let's double click on the extrude here let's say that we're gonna make this substantially larger so if I double click on that uh, let's say that we're gonna make it maybe 600 millimeters right so 600 millimeters say close and just for giggles we're also gonna make it a lot thicker so let's say we're now gonna make it 50 millimeters thicker so you would agree with me that we have substantially changed the part so if we go into our part number two you can see that our part continues to go with it even after our modifications so it's always a one-way street product interface is very very useful for situations like this where you get parts from designers and you want to make edits to them another situation where the product interface is very helpful is for skeleton modeling uh, a real-life scenario where I've used this you know as an example is an end effector for a robot right it has an open and a closed position uh, so you can model the skeleton for that and kind of just work your way around it with product interface product interface really plays well with wave geometry linker that's a little bit more of an advanced topic that we'll talk about later but for now I think you kind of have a good idea of what product interface does so if you have any further questions feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer them thanks